eat a healthy lunch because it makes you big and strong. We want people to be able to take ownership for their own health and make decisions for themselves about what they put into their bodies and how they spend their days. Elf, alpha sprouts. It's so good to try it. In 10 schools in the Edmonton area, an exciting and innovative program is operating to promote active living, healthy eating habits, and sustainable change. They're called Apple Schools, and they're changing kids' lives one day at a time. This is a really special project. Um, I know that there's other projects out there that do health promotion in schools, but our project is special because there is a full-time facilitator in every single school. You pass it off to Ms. Anu, who's also getting the Healthy Hopper Award, for participating in gym class. Ready, Anu? One, two, three. The difference that that makes is, is that we get to meet everyone in the school. We know all the kids by name, and we have relationships with the teachers and the parents and community members. The Apple facilitators in each school teach nutrition and physical fitness as a part of everyday life. Each adapts the program to meet the needs of their own school, but the focus is clear, healthy living for life. It starts with changing attitudes throughout the school community. My job as a school health facilitator is to help schools create a healthy, sustainable school culture. We're going to have fun with their food. We're going to make some nutritious Neds and nutritious Nellies. Really what we do is we try to create awareness in the parents and in the students and in the staff about the importance of eating healthy foods every day and the importance of being physically active every single day. And what makes them the most nutritious? I like them. You like them? All right. <laughs> when they're in elementary school, they're so receptive to the things that we're saying and we can get them excited about health and we can show them that healthy things are fun, healthy things are cool. <laughs> Does it look like good pasta? Well, we have a healthy hot lunch each month. It's free to the students. We, we make sure that uh, the food that's included in that is, is healthy and nutritious for our kids. Pasta? Me too. My mom makes it sometimes. I like chocolate and food is good for you and pasta is good for you too. It's better than my mom's. Before the Apple Schools program began, the baseline data showed that only 27% of children ate enough vegetables and fruits on a daily basis. Today, healthy snacks, provided with the help of parents, are changing that stat and teaching kids about making the right choices for their bodies. I have had three children go through the Apples program, and the impact that it's had on them has been amazing. There you go. The food that they choose at home to eat. They used to ask for chips and pop, and they don't ask for chips and pop anymore. Instead, they'll eat vegetables, and they'll eat fruit. And I go shopping for fruit every, probably every three days. I think elementary schools in particular are the perfect agent for building healthy habits with, it, with our children, for eating habits, for daily physical activity. We have them for seven years, and uh, we can make a significant impact in their lives. It's not a chore to be healthy. I get excited when I see kids being excited when they are working out and they see that they're, they're sweating and that their blood is pumping faster and they're getting huffy puffy. I get excited when I see kids making goals for themselves and working towards achieving those goals. Physical education and daily physical activity come alive in Apple schools. Kids get to the gym almost every day and on the days they can't, Apple facilitators have developed lesson plans that help teachers incorporate physical activity into the classroom. One of the really cool resources that we developed were our DPA bins. And what the DPA bins are, daily physical activity bins, what they are are bins with lesson plans in them. So when the kids need to have a break in the classroom, the bins will have all of the equipment and they're all physical activity based. So for example, we have like a scarves bin and the scarves bin has a class set of scarves in it with lesson plans about different activities you can use with those scarves. Remember when you were juggling, you want to throw the flag up and then you want to actually catch it with your palm facing down like a tiger claw, right? So you're going to throw it up and catch with the same hand. It's a great opportunity for the kids to just get up for five or ten minutes and get some energy and to have fun doing that. 
The Apple Facilitator is the key to uh, the success of the program in the school. If there's no facilitator, I don't believe we'd, we'd have the success that we've had. So she works very closely with teachers and staff in lending them support. She works closely with our students to make sure that uh, they're involved and active and eating healthy. She works closely with uh, the parent group and other stakeholders like community members. Getting the whole school involved, from parents to teachers to students, makes sure the school community drives the initiative. Well, so we'll assess where we're at in regards to healthy eating, active living, and what's happening here at the school. The facilitators help facilitate the discussions, but the ideas and concepts come from the community. I think it's a good thing that we have the nutrition policy. I know through anecdotal things that Apple Schools is having a big impact. We see the impact in the students. They get excited about fruits and vegetables in their lunches, or they're excited that they have four food groups in their lunch that day. But I also see that we're reaching parents. I'll have parents come up to me and tell me, wow, Mrs. Kunick, I never knew that my child liked pomegranates, and now they want, they're asking for pomegranates in their lunch. And I know that it's making an impact on the staff because the staff are excited about being healthy as well. They want to work out after school and I see them bringing healthier lunches and role modeling for the students. The school facilitators are a resource to train and support teachers and even parents. This whole community approach is having an impact. Anyone have any questions? It's a motivation to change habits. I believe that people aren't going to change on their own. Most people don't. To have this extra motivation in the schools, the kids are learning new ideas, new things, and so when they bring them home and share them with their parents, families and parents are changing. It's a good thing to see. It's more than awareness. It's, it's providing opportunities for people to try new things, trying new physical activities, and it's an opportunity to try new foods, and opportunities for the students to be in leadership positions where they can lead other students in healthy, exciting activities. Okay, so I'm gonna hand it over to my pals, and they're gonna explain the game. Guys, I think we gotta make the circle a little bit bigger, so back up just a little bit. Uh, McKenna, you can be the president, and Theo, you can be the bodyguard. Research is being done along the way to track the changes. These are called pedometers. You guys get to keep these pedometers for seven days. But the difference Apple schools are making in the lives of their community members is obvious in every life they touch. I know that gradual change, it's hard to see the difference from day to day. But if we could go back to two years ago when we didn't have the program to now, the significant change in people's attitude towards uh, the food they're eating, to their attitude towards daily activity, and the actual behavior that follows that. It's changed the culture of the school. And I have to believe it's changed the children's lives. I think that you can develop habits at any time in your life, but I think that things that you experience as a child will last you for the rest of your life. And I think that if we are there to show them the healthy choice when they're young, then definitely that can help them create lifelong habits. I hope that my kids take the information that they've been given through the Apple Schools program and carry it through the rest of their lives.